So they tell me that the world it doesn't know how to make any peace, and I just think they haven't seen Rwanda yet. War-torn killers that have been released and loved by the neighbors they once destroyed. The first time the word beautiful was ever uttered was on the hills and mountains of a coffee farm in Bilima. Roads that were once lined with dead bodies, blood-filled rivers, and genocide. Now, no more killing fields or roadblocks checking for racial distinction. No more propaganda convincing peaceful men to rape or murder with whatever weapons they could create, whether it was farm tools or just bare knuckles. Dark memories, they quickly give way to the presence of the present. And silence it doesn't seem to exist amongst the bliss of dancing or singing that makes you disregard the language barriers allowing unity to carry you. Carry you into forgiveness in ways you never imagined. Carry you into grace. Carry you into impossible places. For me, it carried me into a forest of coffee trees, wanting to pluck every cherry and savor the sweetness because moments of blessed assurance that don't make themselves known in the moment that often. Moments when grins mark your soul with the transfer of euphoria, breathing in the moments with Chuma, ingesting his story. 20 years of coffee farmer's glory, dreaming of his three children's education, in his mind, mandatory. In reality, school fees mounting, making my work in the laboratory essential. Make something special, though worthy of this sacrifice. The toil of these fields as they harvest at precisely the right instant, methodically sorting sacred rhythm, sacred work, producing more than a sacred product. A beverage taken for granted, it's the process. Procedure of grandeur producing more than smiles or warm fuzzy feelings, it's reconciliation in a country that was perceived doomed to destruction. The struggle for liberation, it continues. Waged in the name of universal human value, we are equal. In the inherent worth of each individual seen in a single rose placed on a nameless mass grave. Educating future generations, instilling the inherent worth of peace between neighbors, peace between nations, peace on every hill, every valley, every farm, and every cave, and every life. Peace that isn't just an assumption of living. On a dirt volleyball court, I stand surrounded by primary school kids, and I lift my hands up, quickly followed by theirs. I never knew a high five could last forever or how the smack of our palms could transfer such cheer. There is no fear in their eyes, no tears to be shed except the ones for gladness. And it's unclear if this atmosphere will ever cease to be real. But it's certain that liberation is not their end point. Unity is the only option they perceive to be possible. And love, it permeates to their core. And it's my joy to share with you theirs. As we receive lessons, we all need to be taught.